Hello and welcome to Paul's Model Train Stuff. Today I have for you a Roco um, BLS, oh, what's it, the name again? A something, oh, I'll put the correct name in the description. It's a Roco, it's, it's really heavy, nice and solid. It's missing a few pieces like the yellow um, handles uh, that are supposed to be here where the stairs are and of course this is broken but that's not why I got it I um, I found this train and um, this is gonna be the start of a whole new project um, as you can see I can put it here on my test track like that and I can uh, I'm, I'm giving it as much power as I can and well you may sometimes some lights are blinking that's about it and blinking lights are um, not entirely what I would expect uh, from this this train I was hoping it would uh, actually run um, hmm. ah, that's not a broken locomotive trying to demonstrate the track is actually uh, working it seems I have no working trains around oh yes here we go so, still some work on this one but as you can see there is actual pr power on the track but not not for this but it is actually quite okay because um, if I open it, first get rid of the power. You have to clip it open on the bottom side. Here we go. Um, as you can see, it has uh, a decoder, and. Um, I don't know what the status of this decoder is, but I'm hoping it's okay because I'm going to build my own decoder. Um, so actually, this is an encoder, and I'm going to build build my own decoder. Or is it the other way around? This is the decoder. I'm going to build my own encoder to be able to program digital trains and to drive digital trains, but without buying the official stuff. But uh, all based on stuff you can find on eBay. But for that, I of course need a a model train that has some digital components in in it so i can at least um, have one end that's working and hope to eliminate um, any errors i make by at least having something that works now i don't know if this works i know the train um well the lights blink so i think the the decoder is doing something um, but that's all I know. So I looked up the diagram of this of this plug, and um, if you would wire these connections on the outside, like there and like this, let's see if this is in view properly. Um, Now let's see if we can get it. Where's my camera? Uh, it's not focusing. Okay, so if you wire these outer connections, it's it's an uh, eight-pin connection, and I'm wiring uh, the two outer pins together. It should then direct the current straight from the wheels to the motor. So if I put it on the track right now. It should run which would at least give me a clue on whether this is actually look at that so I have a working train I have a decoder that's possibly working now I just need to get all the stuff from eBay to build my uh, encoding uh, encoder and uh, 
go have some fun. And as an extra bonus, let's move some stuff out of the way. I got seven more decoders. So if one of them is broken, there's a good chance that any of this may work. So that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool. There's gonna be quite a few YouTube uh, videos about that subject, I think, because this is a lot of experiments to do, and I have no clue yet on how to do it. But uh, yeah, I uh, um I hope to see you uh, when uh, when I'm gonna do all this stuff and. Uh, get all this up and running. In the meanwhile, I did order the missing parts for this, so I can actually restore it and really look the best possible way for our first digital train. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any uh, remarks, if you like it, uh, if you have any remarks, leave them in the comment if you like what I'm doing. Also leave a comment, um, subscribe to my videos, like them, um, um, just let me know and uh, thank you for uh, for watching